Greetings everyone and welcome back to another video on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Today I want to talk about two topics, the second round of Grand Arena and C-3PO. So 3PO has been released, his kit is out, and holy buff and debuff, he is going to be annoying, but there's a caveat, only a handful of people are going to have him unlocked because the murder bears need to be geared up pretty heavily to take him out. They do not release these ridiculous ridiculous packs without a reason and that reason is that you're going to need some serious Ewok power they've said it's going to be an extremely difficult event this reminds me of Chewbacca the other recent original trilogy character and Chewbacca is in this event too so I think it's going to be extremely difficult that level of difficulty so not a lot of people are going to seven star him and I think that people are just going to get floored which is good because he changes the game so badly. Like, he is going to break teams because he is support, he is resistance, droid, and rebel. And, while well, it's not listed in his tags, he is an Ewok god character. He is, he, like, Ewoks get double his uniques, and he has five. Like, that's, that's kind of insane. So that's that. I will, again, I will not be doing it. Yes, he's got a meta-breaking kit. I'm in no position, though, to win the free, er, to do the event because I spent all my resources today prepping for Grand Arena because I noticed we had a different Grand Arena. And I didn't check if I had um, broken into a new tier or not. Um, in fact, is it going to show my... T it does not show my... Um, my current... Uh, what's the word? My, my GP. In fact, I want to pull up my GP right now. How much do I have? One... Okay, so I've just recently passed the 1,750,000 1, mark. I passed that today, so I don't know if that's putting in more things or if I... Or if they just are throwing in. Because there's a ship one now. Like, there's ships and... I also have to have an additional two... An additional team. So... Yeah, I'm not in the best spot. Um, unfortunately, I oversighted a little bit and forgot to do first order while doing my teams. So they did not get, um, what do you call it? They did not get powered up. Also, I'm definitely against someone who, um, they're going to have a very strong dark side Palpatine team. That is the portrait you get for defeating the mythic um, for having Palpatine, basically, and beating his mythic event. So I know I'm I'm expecting, from that little bit alone, I'm going to expect a heavy dark side team, which is making me now question what teams should I use. So, also this layout, because this is the ship's territory, and there's only one. And let me see, is it... Okay, conquering it is worth 153 banners, is worth 100. So that's the more valuable territory. However... My fleet is going to be much stronger than whatever fifth tier um, thing I go, so I'm definitely willing to go more heavy on defense for for right now. So this fifth slot right here, this is going to be a junk team, and I have a couple candidates in mind. A team with some synergy, but basically if they get to it, I'm already screwed. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to put... Palpatine and the uh, the what do you call it we're going to put this top squad here my Empire squad I have decided that I'm going to let the Sith do their own thing under a Nihilus lead so we are going to deploy these guys so that will put Palpatine Vader and Thrawn out of commission that still leaves me with four pretty good Sith I am including um, Bastila although she is further down she is still Powerful, I gave her a bit more gear since the last time, and I also powered up some other characters. So, Bastila is good, and I'm thinking Enfy's Nest might actually make a good fifth for that team, just because she's really strong. I've also been considering using her on defense. I've got options. Heck, I could try and toss something together under General Grievous. But yeah, so that is going to be my first defensive team. Now, we're not going to repeat our mistakes last time. We are going to now put Commander Luke Skywalker in this one. That is my second best squad, and it's going to arguably be about on par with the other squad. 
And I also did go ahead and bump up Leia to level 85. I, I fixed that small oversight. So these guys are full power now. All right, so there's two defensive squads. So this kind of leaves me in my weird, what am I going to do next phase? So I said last time that I should put first order with, um, that I should put first order here with Palpatine and then basically split light side, dark side. And I'm thinking I will still do that in the sense that I'm now going to go put um, my Jedi squad here and I'm going to once again swap out Ezra for Qui-Gon Jinn because yes, I'm losing some power, but I'm not losing a whole lot. We were at 83 before adding in Qui-Gon, we are at 78. So we lose about 5k and part of that's in the form of a Zeta. But I think that as far as like swap outs go, this is pretty good. Hermit Yoda is also getting much closer to 7 stars after the last territory battles. I've got him at 50 out of 100. We're closing in. I can feel it. Alright, so there's that. So now the last question will be, who goes with the Palpatine? Since this is, um, what do you call it? Since I'm using Palpatine not as Sith, but as Empire, he's not going to be as strong, obviously. But my First Order squad is just not cutting it right now. I mean, look at this. There's two characters. If the officer had been fully leveled, he would have so much more power than, hell, even Phasma. But I'm just not convinced on taking the team as is. Here's what I am thinking. Because if we look at the leader, First Order has crit and speed. So... Like, that's a pretty good turn meter feed, but I just cannot justify sending those two. So I'm going to instead fill their ranks with a couple fill-in characters. So I don't have a whole lot of dark side outside of the bounty hunters and the uh, night sisters, but what I do have is Geonosian Soldier and General Grievous. So this will definitely be an... Ah, oh, that's not much better, damn it. Um, not even... Uh... I, was, I, I thought it would change it more. I guess it just didn't. All right, who else? Uh, I, I want, I'm going to use Nihilus on offense because I know that that team is much easier to beat on defense than offense. So I'm definitely using that on offense. I don't know. Um, and they need Sidious and they need Bastila. Um, I might have to blend the colors a little bit right now. Who do I not use? I don't use the Jedi Counselor. And I'm not using Ashoka. How much was... How much was Geonosian Soldier? I don't think he's past 10k. Oh, BB-8 might be a good one, too. BB-8 pulls more than his weight. So we're going to do BB-8 and we're going to do... Who did I want to throw with Ashoka? It was Ashoka, and I think I was thinking Boba Fett. I don't know. I was gonna try not. I was gonna try bounty hunters on offense today. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this. Unconventional, but should pull its weight pretty well. BB-8's a really good support, and Ashoka does bring some heals. So the other two, again, it's still mostly counting on the two Kylo Rens. But there we go on that, and now. Having made up my mind about the defensive squad we're going to put here. This one is definitely the... I don't want them getting here, but I need to fill the damn slot. So we're going to go ahead and put in the Imperial Troopers. If they get to this, they get it for free. I am I put Palpatine in front on defense because I want him to win. Now, let's talk about this. The ships. What am I going to do for ships? I don't exactly get to pick squads. I get to pick this. So... Thrawn is the obvious choice for defense. I don't want to lose. And I think my Tarkin is pretty damn good on offense. So we're going to do something really different. I'm going to still save my best offensive, uh, some of my best offensive ships. And we are going to instead put a real nasty defensive combo with a bunch of my secondaries. So we're going to give them that that and I think this is Geonosian fighter but we're gonna give him Houndstooth as well Houndstooth may not be that strong but again it pulls more than its weight 
And then I still have my proper offense team ready with Tarkin. Because, I again, up until I got Thrawn to seven stars, I was using Tarkin like it was nobody's business. So Tarkin will pull his weight on offense. Most would argue Tarkin is the stronger offense, and Thrawn still works wonderfully even on a light side team. And then the synergy between Ghost and uh, Phantom 2 is extremely strong, and then the Jedi Counselor gives them some added def survivability and an extra couple attacks and some extra defense if the target lock goes out. So this is a pretty solid defensive squad. This is going to be my defense for the Territory Wars. And then if we go to... Just pick a random battle because I want to look at my squads. And then if we look at my, my remaining squads, I still have Bastila. Like, I've got Bastila... Wait, did I forget to put down Bastila? Hold on. Wait, did I? I meant to put down Bastila. Did I not put down Bastila? Right, shoot, I can't... Okay, sorry, I totally forgot. It's like, I, why can't I see... I know, I know, I'm at max capacity. So, um, it might be easier if I just do it like this. So... I spent most, or not most of it, but I spent a lot of time working on the Night Sisters and my Bounty Hunters today to try and get them both ready to go. And now my Night Sisters have five characters at level 85, and I went through the trouble of getting some gear on them and putting in a lot of um, abilities. I did hold off on doing all of them to seven, which is kind of what I was thinking I would do. You know, get all of this up to seven. And again, I'm just ignoring Daka's leadership because I don't need it. it. It adds ghost power. I put mods on, but I didn't have enough um, money to level them all up. And in fact, I could even do something like up do like do blighted touch because I've got I've got omegas to spare. My main thing is the fact that I've got what do you call? Do I just not have the? Oh well, I just don't have the credits for feed. Where is Talzane? I'm almost ready for Zeta. I am one or two days away. Tomorrow is ship uh, materials day, which has a very... I, I've got a chance of getting two, even four Zeta mats. So I was holding off on this. And Asajj gets the next Zeta. So that's going to put her really, really high on my power list. Because she'll have two Zetas. Because she already has one on her leadership. And then she'll have... Rampage, which just makes her an unstoppable killing machine. So that's the goal there. A double Zeta Asage. Like, that's that's the next goal. After that, I'm probably going to do um, the... Well, you don't have one, right? Yeah, that's not a Zeta. That's not even an Omega. Wait, no, that was a leadership. One of these I could have sworn was a Zeta. Guess not. Then the next one will be Talzin's Plague Bearer, just because, you know... It's good. It's it's an okay. It's not great. Like, this is great, but we're not picking her for her leadership. We're picking her for the Sith Raid. That is what I plan to use Talzin for. So I spent time going over all of them, powering them up. Thought about doing Acolyte, but I ended up deciding against it just because, again, these are going to be a Sith heroic team. That's pretty high priority. And Talzin shard farming isn't going great. I'm throwing all my mats at... Chewy right now because I am very close to being done with veteran Chewbacca, which means I will be ready for the next time Jedi Training Ray comes around. So the other thing I did was power up some bounty hunters. I tried to get Django up to 85, but I ran out of credits. It was expensive enough just to get IG-88 up, and then Leia, like all those one or two levels to get to max really, really hurt me. And then I put some more gear on everyone. So I have, including Greedo, I have a Bounty Hunter squad ready to go. I did more, especially on IEG-88. Like him, I spent some time on today. Got him up another gear level to gear 8. Got him most of his abilities ready now, uh, ready upped. Even put another level into his payout. Again, don't have the credits at this point, And I don't feel like that one quite, um, quite benefits as much. But yeah, Rapid Fire... I could do Mortal Wound. I'm thinking about doing Mortal Wound, but it's too late now. And then you'll notice I started modding him. Um, I needed a crit chance speed, and I don't have one. Not even on another character. I just straight up don't have one. In fact, I think I got some more energy. I did get some more bond energy. We're going to go ahead and try again to get it. 
So here's rolling for four. Did we get an arrow? We didn't even get an arrow. In fact, we got a really crap mod on one of them, but let's see. Protection, protection, protection. So not a great haul. We got the 30k, which is kind of nice, but my main point is we're still not in a great spot. So we're trying, we're trying to get him up because, again, he's a sh like the three, the, the four ship wielding bounty hunters are probably going to end up being my Chewy squad. I'm thinking that I'll swap out Cad Bane for Dengar, though, just because, like, Cad's not very useful during the event. I mean, his ship's good, but he's not, so... I don't know. Like, I'm always thinking ahead on this, but I'm also thinking current stats, so... I'm going to do an arena battle just to, like, give you guys some actual gameplay. And as you noticed, I am closing in on... Uh, the top 100 again. Now, I usually have the problem of I'm getting knocked out during the night, but I've been having some good luck recently with battles. A lot of it's RNG on Scion right now, because while he is gear 12, he doesn't have, like... Ugh. That's the other thing, is Thrawn sometimes just gets demolished early game. Like, look at that. He hasn't had a turn yet, and Thrawn's gone. Like, that really, really hurts when that happens. Like, this is this is mods, people. This is why, why you get mods on characters. All right, I got some cooldown increase, but we're also just getting hammered. Poe. Okay, now we get a mass dispel. So now we have a very brief moment where we can go after other Ray because currently she is the most vulnerable of them all because the other characters are tanky af and again scion is stunned and stunned and we lost palp yeah we're just we're this is game this is already over yeah we are just absolutely getting wrecked oh boy oh that hurt Yeah, I'm gonna just throw this on auto. There's no there's no coming back. Scion's not gonna get another turn because he's just double stunned. Yeah, we annihilated Ray, but I don't think we're coming back from this. So I guess I'll do Yeah, now annihilate like ugh, it's the stuns, man. Like okay, if Scion no, and Scion's dead too. Yeah, it's game. Yeah, see like that's mods right there. That is, they had some really good mods with some really good speed. They got to take enough turns to annihilate um, Thrawn before I could take a turn. So that is the game of mods and gear. Again, I'm taking a only 4 out of 5 gear 12 in against them, and most of them not having any gear 12+. plus. So hopefully we'll have a little better luck on ships. Uh, have I done my... I've done my fleet arena for the day because I've already collected my daily thing. So, looking at the things, I kind of want to take on the middle guy just because I feel like this will be a more interesting battle. One thing I do like about these videos, even though I've only been doing them for a couple weeks now, you can track, like, my progress in the game through them because you'll notice every time you pop into the... Okay, so none of them are innately tanky, so we will go after Vader. Yes! Oh, man! Damn, he just survived. Thrawn should kill him, though. Yeah, he's out. All right. We're going after Kylo next. Yeah, this one just might... This, this one RNG was in our favor. All right, Boba Fett, this actually works better for me because now I'll bring in Ashoka, eat Boba's buffs into bonus health, and then just get back to wailing and killing Kylo Ren. So now we'll go after Boba. Yeah, the Millennium Falcon's really annoying when it has that buff, so I actually prefer to just kill it. Like, if it comes down to one character left to use uh, Thrawn's ultimate on, it's going to be the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, we're just going to go for the kill. Dead in the water. Oh, sweet. We didn't even need to. Okay, that was a good round. 
What probably happened there is this guy was climbing to his max for the day, and... Well, again, partially RNG's just on my side, and I think his setup works a little better under control. So I'm gonna go through the shops real quick, and then that's that. So I did also max out a second... Well, I didn't max out, but I've got a second 7-starred Geonosian ship now, so Spy is done. And both, I think, for character and... No, not character, but... Geonosian Spy's ship is done, so I am going to start testing them out on the, what do you call them, the nodes, because the Geonosians work really, really well on, ooh, what's this? Ooh, sweet, we might get a piece of gear on Nihilus. What else do we got? Uh, Carponti, or Circus Cuff. Uh, ooh, that's always a good deal whenever you see that. Because that tells me it's a piece I use a lot. And I recognize that as a piece I use a lot. So... Um, mm. Talia may be the cheapest one, but every little bit counts. And then it's like, I'm not farming Zam, I'm not farming Assistant Trooper. I, I, at one point I was farming First Order TIE Pilot, but I was trying to get BB-8 at that point, and I just got to a point where... Yeah, I just wasn't using it. You know what? Actually, credits are more of a pain right now, so we're going to do that. Uh, we don't need them, so we'll pick up Geonosian Starfighter. Just spend one to get some... what do you call it? Uh, and then I still haven't maxed out Initiate, but that's definitely not happening. Too poor. Uh, did I already look at this? Yeah, so a done Geo. Another Geo. So I'm actually at the point now where I'm going to start use, uh, saving up and just doing Zeta mats because, like, I don't... I'm not actively farming most of the other stuff, and this would speed up Zeta acquisition greatly, which would allow me to power up a lot of my other teams. Not quite ready for another Hoda. And holy crap... What the heck? Is that Geonosian... Oh, right, the, um, there was an event earlier, uh, Battle of the Separatists, and I got a lot of Sunfac, except for on my last one, I got a lot of Geonosian soldiers, so that was that. All right, what's at the bottom? Nobody has any of that, so we are going to sit, because only Nihilus needs that, so there's no point in gathering more, and I have 1,100 of that, so let's go put a piece of... Oops, let's go put a piece of gear on Nihilus. Yes, another step closer to gear 12. And this gives him hell, hell, thank God. Like, I know it's not much, but believe me, it, it counts. And then I could slice something, but I'm going to not just because... Now that I'm on, like, now that I've got my arena squad for... for literally, foreseeably for a year, I'm not going to... I'm going to actually work on getting good mods for them eventually. Now, I'm still working on modding up, you know, these guys, but I'm at the point where... Ooh. Bastila or Talia? That's a question. Or Vet... Or Django. Okay, yeah. I noticed these guys were all sharing gear, so... Mm, it's got to be Talia. Bastila can't be farmed right now, so there's just no point in doing that. So now she is one piece of gear away. Oh, it's this piece. Oh, we might actually be able to take her up a gear level. Sometimes I get lucky and this will be this will be nice and drop for me. Damn, that's good luck. We're taking Talia up a gear level. Talia is officially gear 8. And immediately upon arrival, we have some stuff to put to take her towards gear 9. Yeah, Talia is one of the older characters, so gearing her up is cheaper just by default, practically. So yeah, I know it's still not a whole lot, but again, she is only tier uh, 5 stars, so... If I put her at, um, if I got her up to 7 star, she would end up being closer to, I'd say, 1200 probably by now. Especially having most of her abilities maxed. And then again, I'm just not touching this. I mean, I'll do that just because it doesn't cost a purple. And it does add to her power, but 
Like, my point is, she's more powerful now. We're all more powerful. And, oh, is it ship time? It's ship time. Cool. Rank 33. Not bad. Uh, yeah, so 150, some of that, some of that, some of that. The nice, juicy crystals. And 1,300 points. So does that put me at another Zeta mat, or am I just short? I'm j I am five short. Damn. And I was actually thinking about pushing, but... Okay, I've rambled on on this. Definitely, definitely gone a little further than I meant to on things. But hey, you know what? It's it's a game I like to play. I'm not just playing it to make videos. Like I'm playing to play. So I'm I'm not sorry that I'm enjoying this, and I'm happy to be enjoying a game this much. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Um, as things happen in this game, I'll be making more videos. I don't want to do, like, daily stuff, because there are days where nothing happens. Yesterday was a good example. So, just, you know, bear with me. I think the next thing I'll do, both the old raids are coming off cooldown in 24 hours, so I'm going to probably do them next. And maybe talk a bit about the Sith Heroic raid as well. Alright, that does it for now. Thank you all for watching, and farewell.